Yo, yo, yo. What is up, my fallopian tubers? Cesario from the barrio. Coming back at you with another video for your book. And today, I'm doing a video that was inspired by watching another YouTuber. Uh, he just came across my feed. And I was like, oh, that's that sounds cool. I'm going to check it out. And um, his name is The Card Pile. So basically what he was doing is going through cards and putting them in a pile. I was like, that's a pretty cool little concept for a video right there. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll put his link below so you guys can check out The Card Pile. All right, and uh, so I got my, I just pulled out the, the box of vintage, the second box of vintage, <clears throat> and um, go through one of these stacks, go, go through the whole side, and I'll, oh man, it's like a lot, all right, and um, we'll put a pile of them, let me put this box to the side, all right, and here's that pile, and we'll put it into a pile. All right, just a cool little way to um, go through some cards. Ah, All right, so we got the Carl Yastrzemski rookie slash prospect card because he didn't play in 1960. All right, um, so how do we start this pile just like that? And um, these are a few commons that I bought for like dirt cheap um, not that long ago at my LCS. See how this Dave Winfield, what is it like the hostess or ding dong, ding dong, Eddie Matthews. This Cal Daniels autograph was in there with all these other cards. Check that out. Man, you got Roberto Clemente in there, Hank Aaron, Willie McCovey. So, <clears throat> bought these at, from a, an album at um, my LCS not that long ago. Put that there. And this was a gift from Angini. Awesome gift. Uh, something I could just never find. Um, in case you guys don't know, I don't shop online so i don't go on comc or ebay so it's unless i find a card in person or someone offers it to me for a trade sale whatever um i have no way of finding it unless i have to almost personally come across it and um this one i could just was eluding me and i really really wanted it steve dakowski a real legend a real legend and uh johnny bench uh, it's kind of sad, but like the thing I remember the most about this card is always uh, when I was doing the live and I was showing it, and this guy told me, he's like, hey, that's Johnny Bench's rookie card, like if I didn't know. And that kind of insulted me. <laughs> Check it out, Tommy Lasorda in 78. As player and as manager, if you guys don't know, he pitched for the Dodgers. And um, he got replaced by none other than... Sandy Koufax true story and this is a trimmed Ernie Banks you can tell more from the back that it was trimmed but I didn't care I got it for super dirt cheap and I have it and it's all mine the Barra this was also trimmed um, I need to take it out like and inspect it and really look at it <clears throat> I want to find out where it was trimmed from and like if was it easy to detect of course you guys are going to be able to see it how it's going to be too blurry it's too blurry i can tell but i wonder where it got trimmed from all oh, right here <laughs> it's all wavy uh, sometimes i think i do more damage trying to put cards into things made to protect them We got Frank Howard. 
rookie star. Rod Carew. Nice, nice, nice. Also one of those Ding Dong Hostess. <clears throat> Rami Yun in 81. Nice. Another 81. Mike Smith and Cecil Cooper. RBI leaders. Another 81. Mike Smith. National League All-Star version. Uh, 75. <clears throat> Von Joshua. And I remember what year these are, like 60, 61 or something from Fleer. To me, they look like they're from the 30s or something, but they're they're pretty cool. Feature a lot of older, like, seemed like it's had a lot of retired stars in it. Fred Kipp. The Houston Astros in 1970. And the other one was 59. Brooks Robinson, another one of those hostess. Right, I, I, there was like Hostess, Twinkies, right, Ding Dong, so the Mets in 78. 78 is always like, I like the handwriting stuff. Uh, Carl Ferrillo, what is it, 53, Bo Mancala. Mike Smith, Record Breaker, 81. A Lou Gehrig, this card, I don't remember exactly... How cheap I got it but I got it like um, this I got it uh, on a on a Facebook auction that I don't know how I got in it but I was just asking questions all of a sudden I was in it but anyways he had said he had bought this card for like $50 and it was only me and some other guy bidding and he quit like at 20 bucks so like I won it for like 20 21 and um, he was upset and he tried to do a cool little stab. He tried to complain like to the admins saying like he bought it for more than that. And they were like, well, it's like suck it up, buttercup. And this is what I always say. Like I always recognize the 62 as being 62 when I see the wood trim. Because it's the card that celebrates Roger Maris's 61st. And obviously it comes out the next year. So it's 62. Uh, this Al Kaline Souvenir Stamps Autograph. Oh, what is that right there? Number 22 out of 22. Gaylord Perry in the 68. Uh, another year for those Hostess Ding Dongs on cards. Mike Smith and Steve Carlton. We got an Astros from 72. Psychedelic essay 73 the Phil Negro the 78 that iconic handwriting to me the Denny Martinez I remember there was this pretty cool dude uh, Manny uh, that was a hardcore Denny Martinez fan but he's one of those people that disappeared from YouTube Koufax and Drysdale from the Dodgers in that one uh, these are one of those Circle K cards where they come out like 83, 85. I think they were out for a while. But yeah, these were kind of cool. And then I remember like in 88, I believe, 88 or 89, Tops came with some, released some cards like this, but they were like super glossy. They were, they were pretty sweet. Uh, Claude Osteen, a 72 of Bill Buckner rookie cup it's not his rookie card I believe he has like a multiplayer card right and this is his rookie cup Klosiski my little guy is like Godzilla uh, let me see at home Ted Ted let's take Klosinski <clears throat> Bert Capaneris in the 72 uh, from the 74 tops the Hank Aaron's uh, where they did a tribute So eight, there's a bunch of cards. that have all his plain day cards plain era cards You know four in each card a checklist from 78 <clears throat> Sporting News Ted Williams uh, Johnny Bench Hostess We got 75 Yogi Berra and Willie Mays 
This card's not bad. This is a double because I have the complete set. So not a double, it's just a single. <laughs> Rob Dazzler, Ron Guidry, Pat Zachary, Rob McClure. One of those Nestle cards of Hank Aaron. Uh, this is a modern card. I don't know why it's in here. Uh, 75 Hank Aaron. And the Brewer is kind of weird. Uh, Sports Illustrated. The Amazing Mets. Willie Mays. Uh, the Hank Aaron Special Collector's Souvenir Card. And I think this is a peachy or something that's made in Canada. And you can see it has French writing. A Don Drysdale from the Burlap 68. Uh, strikeout Leaders from the 1980. Top set, which always has that little flag. So. Hey, I don't know if anybody's going to stick around, but I'm going to do this other one till my pile falls down. <laughs> Might be boring for some people. It's not high-end cards. Uh, Warren Spawn, 58. Uh, two Harold Baines, 81 rookies. Check it out. Ted Williams. The Red Sox. <laughs> Theodore. We got the 79 Ozzy Smiths. We got 79 Rich Gossage and Raleigh Fingers. So that's a great combination right there. Like two of the best to be added at the time. Willie McCovey, we got Nolan Ryan, Raleigh Fingers, this, this this little thing right here, Fred Lynn, he went to USC, so I always hear stories about him, Rookie Cup, uh, Steve Sachs, Rookie of the Year for the Dodgers, uh, Duke Snyder and Walter Alston as a Dodgers boss and power, Yankees, Jim Catfish Hunter, Raleigh Fingers, look at that guy. I believe this was uh, part of the the mystery pack that I got from Double D Vintage Cards. But I this is perfect for my uh, miscut collection, which I think uh, I have some in here. But another of uh, the 74 Hank Aarons, Reggie Jackson right there. Another Reggie Jackson, the 86 Tops, the Black Beauties. Check out that Reggie. That's, that thing has been loved. You know, so I love my women. You know, scars, tattoos, bully wounds, <laughs> C sections. All right, uh, Don Zimmer, uh, Thurman Munson from '75, Rock Carew in the '83, uh, and and Ozzy Smith. All right. We got the 70 Sutton, the Robin Yunt, the two Yunts, the two Yunts, the 76. I love that little whole thing right there. Tommy Lasorda. Man, these cards all were like blurry and weird looking. And right here, I think I got a bunch of stamps of all the Atlanta Braves. Well, not all of them, but some Atlanta Braves. <laughs> We got Rick Roden in the 84 tops. The 82 of Juan Beniquez. So. <coughs> man. I can't keep talking forever like that. Alright. 
the 84 always that square design here's a sticker of Barry Larkin nice uh, Eric show some of these stickers from the sticker albums back then take out that Daryl strawberry um, damn it I'm, I'm forgetting his name was it Wagner or something no, but in the back it has somebody else. I forgot his name. Kurt Scott. Scott, right? S Scott. <laughs> Terry Carmen, the Phillies. Now we got Jeff Burrows. Uh, Buck Martinez. So we got a bunch of common cards. Like, I'll, I'll go Tenko to Kobe. He's a star to a certain degree. <laughs> uh, you know, when if Jim Cat right there caught. If I see a lot of like uh, vintage cards and they're like dirt cheap, like at, just for whatever reason, say like at a thrift store or someone's just getting rid of a bunch of comments or trying to get rid of dead weight, I'll buy them. Because just in case I need them, because I mean, I don't carry my checklist with me everywhere like I used to back in the days. Check out these. These are cool. The pop-ups, Wade Box, Mike Smith, and the puzzle piece. Alright, so... So we see we've got a bunch of 84s and 82s. Oh, you know, or, or sometimes these might just be from the repack boxes, the Fairfields and stuff. Uh, Ron Say, El Pinguino. Daryl Sconiers, David Green. 81, I used to love those hats. I used to love those hats, man. All right, Bobby Bonds. El Papa, Ren Rule. Harry Crowley, Tommy John Surgery. This is a sweet card right here. The 85 Tops Madeline. Uh, Steve Garvey, Iron Man in his own right. Bob Welch, Steve Garvey, uh, Tom Verizer, who um, opened up a company called Verizon. You guys might have heard of it. Steve Vry or Williams. We got some football here. I don't know what year these are. I'm sure some of you football guys know exactly what year it is as soon as you saw it. But here's a couple of different years. Nobody big, I believe. <laughs> Same thing with vintage. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you come across one of these and it's five for a dollar. I'll take five. <laughs> uh, so, see, right here, I think I got some of my miscuts. Right here. Yeah, some of my miscut collection. All right. Look at that. Alright guys, so this is some of my miscut collection going on right here. Look at that, that diamond cut, what's that called? And it's Eddie Matthews, man, but as a coach, as a manager. Alright, even that Rock Carew in 82. And then the puzzle piece, which one is it? The Warren Spawn. Alright, so last one, guys. Anyway, I don't know if I anybody is actually hanging around for this long box of commons but I don't know what this was doing in here Severino we got Vic Davilillo Davilillo yeah I said Davilillo look at this did he have that long of a career wow nice Alright, and um, part of my miscut collection right here. <laughs> this I got in a PC, I mean a care package. Alright, here we go. Go check out some of the miscut PC. <laughs> Pretty bad, huh, some of these. Look at that one. Look at these. Man. Just some bad miscuts, man. Oh my god. I have been looking for this card everywhere. How the hell did it end up in here? There was a contest and I wanted to... Um, you know, I was going to elect uh, Doc Ellis as my starting pitcher. And I forgot which contest it was. And I was looking for that card and I couldn't find it. All right, so that's part of the miscut PC right there. I need to put this somewhere else. 
All right, so the pile's getting bigger, but it hasn't fallen down. All right, let's see what else is in the stack. We got Jimmy Fox. This is also said it was trimmed, but got them dirt cheap, man. So that's an easy trade off for me. The Ernie Banks, 58 tops. Uh, the Ron Say rookie, we just seen him earlier with some other two other nobodies. Ah, the baseball thrills, Willie Mays catch. I always say at the time the greatest catch ever, which seemed impossible. And after he made it seem possible, there's been many catches like him, probably some even better, but he'll always be the first. Ah, I dropped something in there. Ted Williams. Man, there was another Ted Williams in there. I didn't put those together. The Rod Scurry. Some more, oh, that's what I dropped. More of those little stamps. We got a ground out rock Carew. We got one of those 3D cards of the cups, Becker. All right. We got Bill Plummer. Fix my fix my plumbing. Lou Gehrig, baseball greats. Dale Murphy. Oscar Gamble. Carl Yastrzemski. 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 Uh, Manny Trio and Joe Pignatano. And I think that's it for the, the cards. And I just got two little boxes. One is the 1981 Drake set. So you can see there I bought this for five bucks. These are pretty cool little sets. For those of you guys that don't know these. These are great sets. Many, many, many stars. And for cheap. These are some great... Uh, cards to have and then I have this I have a Captain Marvel patch in here and see what these are Andy Van Slyke Ken Griffey Jr. All-Stars oh this is a sweet car with the man Kevin um damn it what I keep uh Man, ah, his name is slipping me. I want to say Kevin Miller, but that was my old boss. And Randy Johnson, Kevin, right? <laughs> oh, I just talk about Mitch Williams, right? No, Mitch Williams is the wild thing. I was just talking about the Vintage Sanctuary. Man, I'm at a crazy loss right now. Man, uh, we got Oral Hershiser. She got these are Louisville Slugger, like the tags, I think, that came with like gloves and stuff. So sweet so there it is that is my pile of cards folks glad I did this and um uh, found my Doc Ellis card I've been looking at this for for quite a while so awesome to come across that and it was just in a weird place too ah uh, I can't close this but anyways there's my pile love the hobby Keep collecting baseball cards forever, Essay. Ciao. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Love the hobby. Baseball cards. Forever. Essay. From the card pile. Good idea.